Good afternoon. It's Tuesday, June 19th. I get home and my place is down to 73. Air conditioning is on. And I have a message I just received as I was walking in the door from my mother. Um, she says, I spent a couple of hours at your place today with the air conditioner repairman and he found a leak. Uh, it, it's outside. Good. Because uh, hopefully that means they won't have to tear up the wall up here that would require me potentially to remove my shelves. That was the big fear. It's outside but it will need to be replaced and they need some special equipment to do it. They are coming in the morning early to do this. Uh, he filled it with Freon so that you could use it until then, but said to watch it and if it starts to freeze up again, you'll need to turn it off. Hopefully it won't do that. Um, and I'm meeting her for dinner uh, here in like an hour. Wonderful. Okay, so very good, very good. So. Immediately, that's the place is cool, and from that it sounds like I can adjust the temperature, which is good, because they left it set at 73, and I don't like 73. I like 72. It has nothing to do with me feeling a difference between the temperatures. It's just sort of a, a weird thing in my brain. I'm like, I, I like the the zeros and fives, but in order to have more diverse than that, I am also fine with two over or two under. Um, the zeros. So I'm like, I go 72, 75, 78, 80, etc. that kind of thing. <laughs> so when I got home and it's 73, I'm like, am I not allowed to go down to 72? Because I might have to just set this to 75 if not. <laughs> but that 72 is good, so wonderful. And I also say, I'm of course very happy to see uh, my mom was here and apparently she uh, cleaned the place because I've been needing to clean that for a while and other things. Looks like both kitchen and bathroom I get home and she was here for a while, so apparently she decided to clean. I won't complain. Because <laughs> that definitely uh, lifts the weight off my shoulders. <sighs> Wonderful. Wonderful. Um, and yes, so grateful to hear the week is outside. Because yeah, um, when, uh, when I moved in, the first thing we had them do was check the... AC and, and get that replaced because the concern was that there was a leak in this wall because it runs from outside to the back there and uh, depending on where it was if there was a leak there was like okay we're gonna have to completely tear this out etc so we were trying to be cautious and so when it's having issues that's been the big worry so if they found the leak and it's outside so good sounds like they're gonna fix it tomorrow I just gotta make sure it doesn't freeze over Wonderful. So I just got over to my mom's and for the first time in months, it actually looks like it's back to being a house again. They got the railing all up, everything's looking pretty. All their hardwood floor is up. They're still missing a piece of furniture over there, but still, most of the furniture's in here. We got baseboards, we're missing closet doors, but for the most part, it's a house again. My mom's quite pleased. <laughs> so the plan was to go out to eat at 5.30. Here at 6.25, we have finally gotten Ethan and are on our way to Gingham's. Now, if she'd have properly just said, we'll go out to eat at 6.30, would have worked fine. I probably could have gotten more stuff done before leaving and going over, but no. I got to, I got to visit with you. <laughs> yes, you got to visit with me and I'm now behind on things, but you know what? You know, it's not like anything I do is important. I just, who cares about my time? Exactly. You had to give me a time and then not be ready for 45 minutes after that. <laughs> also, I'm really hungry at this point. And I got most of my food. I'm missing pickles, but they they noticed before I did, so. That's fine. Otherwise, we got whatever. Chicken steak and breakfast, and Ethan gets an equally large plate of fried food. I, I, I think he sees how fat I am, and he, he's a little jealous. He's trying to put, put some weight on. I'm trying to catch up. Yeah, you, you got some work to do. You're still pretty scrawny. <laughs> Pickles have arrived. And before I've really even gotten to that point, 
And I'm home and tired. I have things uploading and such. So the computer's going and I'm good for that tonight. And technically my AC is working right now. However, uh, they are coming, basically they filled the wine up with Freon or whatever the coolant is, um, refrigerant, whatever. Um, but there is a leak outside. Now they're coming tomorrow morning to fix it. Wonderful. However, in order to do so, it needs to not be frozen. So I could just hope that if I leave it at my normal temperature, 72, it'll be fine and I don't have to worry about anything. It should keep the, the, the refrigerant there long enough for it not to be an issue. But what I've decided to do is turn it to really cool, let it get, you know, you know, maybe down at least into high 60s, and then turn it off overnight so it can defrost because I came over here and if you look down at the far end here, it is already starting to develop ice. <laughs> so, um, yeah, there is that. So basically I'm gonna try and get the place cool here really quick and then I'm just gonna turn it off so it has all night to thaw back out and be sure that they're able to work on it tomorrow get it sorted out, taken care of, fixed. Um, my mom pointed out the... Her, her comment was, hopefully that's the only leak. And I'm like, why'd you even say that? In my mind, of course it's the only leak. Why would there be more than one? Don't be stupid. I do hope it's the only leak, because, like I said, if there's any in the wall here, that can be devastating. We were very deliberate to make sure that it was fine before I lined the wall with shelves. If they missed something, I will be sad. Otherwise, other than trying to get the place cool, I'm gonna just kinda go to bed a little early again tonight. I'm still not feeling great. At no, I, I, for the last several days, it's like I haven't been sick. But I've definitely had periods each day where I'm just like, I just don't feel well either. Um, so yeah. I'm just going to go to bed early. Thank you for joining me. Join me as my journey continues. Bye.